Hello everybody, today is Monday the 28th of August and I did make my first video for the suitcase market. I tried, I was aiming for five minutes. It got, uh, it is 10 minutes long. And I will um, show that to you now. And I will just do a voiceover all, over all of it. And uh, that will be the video for today. It is with Lawn Fawn Supplies. It's from the new release with a batty, with a, with a bat and the pull tab. So I hope you enjoy. So first I got my interactive die, the no, it's just waving pull tab. Just forgot it for a moment. I have all of those um, pull tab things on one sheet. Then I went to my Lawn Fawn stamp drawer and got the Batty for You, the new stamp, out. Just piling my stuff, what I need. I took my very thick paper, it's I think 350 grams. And this is the biggest of the stackable stitched rectangles, all from Lawn Fawn. So I cut out my, this is my background panel. My big shot, then I use Salty Ocean, Prize Ribbon and Chipped Sapphire for the background. I start with um, Salty Ocean in the middle, go around with Prize Ribbon and go back to the lighter color and then the Chipped Sapphire around. And I go through the colors a few more times. Turn it around, do the other side. So it was a bit easier than blending on the left hand side. I couldn't hold the paper like that. I still need a grip mat or something would be great here are the um, perfect pearl powders i took um, forever blue i think uh, sunflower yellow and the white is kind of watercolor white with a lawn fawn they have a little tube with stardust liquid stardust that is that one and that all sparkles a lot then so here I take the stamp set and stamp out the images I need. I need the bat and I want to do the waving part. So I take two wings. There's one stamp with both wings, which you can just put behind the bat, but um, I didn't do that. Here I'm coloring. It's not so nice. It got very, very dark. I used um, the sea, the, the sea grays, the cold grays, uh, I think six, seven, eight. And I go to and fro a bit and yeah it, it, it's it's I, I don't like the result <laughs> uh, the, the face of the bat doesn't show like that so that's yeah and then I do the ears and I usually use some e what is it e zero zero e zero one zero two um I like those colors for ear insights then here I have the the die cuts I took those because of the uh, the wings you need those for the waving pull tab i just line those up then i cut my paper a bit and put them through my small die cut machine which i love for just small things because i can just still put on my uh, place on my chair and don't have to get up all the time then i put those aside i take out the waving pull tab die pieces i line up the upper part where it um, cuts out the the hole for for the tab then and with that thingy there i line up the slits for the wings run that through my die cut machine and then there you see the space where you can thumb through and get the pull tab and the slits for the wings then i also needed the pull tab i took my thick paper again the 350 grams uh, just i want a sturdy pull tab I had some troubles getting it out, uh, so I took my pincers and got them out. I did cut out the decorative piece for the pull tab with a with a glitter paper. And here are some German sentiments. Um, I cannot read them from here. <laughs> I think it says "Alles Gute zum Geburtstag," um, all the best for your birthday. And the other one is so fun. That's why I got it. It um, says "Reingeflattert nur für dich." It means like I, it flew in just for you. And it's, it's a funny way to say that in German. And it really fits with that bat. And I do, I used the, the, the anti-static powder and the Versamark ink, the sticky ink. And I'm using white um, embossing powder. I have made those speckles before and those are with uh, perfect pearls and then you cannot go over it with normal pigment ink. You need to go over it with um, 
sticky ink and therefore also need a colored, what's it called again, uh, embossing powder. Normally you can just stamp something and use clear gloss and it pulls out the color of the ink, but that doesn't work when it, the ink doesn't stick to the card where the, the speckles are. So that's what I learned through trial and error. Then I pull, pull thread through the, the wings and I took, take a little bread and put it in from the back and just <laughs> slot everything through. There I had to check how it's done again and uh, the stopper pieces of the pull tab need to be on top. They will go with that sleeve and they will prevent the pull tab to go further down than to where the sleeve is. So I'm preparing the sleeve with um, score tape. One part to put it onto the card there. And then I pull off the other part and close that sleeve up. Testing it, it works. I'm very happy about that. And then I add the decorative piece on top. I think the first waving pull tab I made did not work out. That's why I'm very surprised when it works out. Um, but there, I, th I think I tried to make a double pull tab and that did not work. <laughs> also was one of my very first cards uh, three years ago. And here I do like a little, um, a lot of adhesive. And I took those foam dots, which are a bit high and I made sure that they don't stick where the wings are flapping. But uh, ears and middle of the body is fine. Then I took a blue cardstock, measured it and scored it to have the card base like that. Made a little pencil line and cut it off. I'm using the other part of the page for another card. Uh, it's going to be a bit smaller. But yeah. It's different with the die cut sizes and the which is American and the paper size I have is European and then it doesn't you don't get that much onto one page. That's it looks a bit wasteful, but I use the smaller bits for other cards, for the smaller ones, because I like to just make cards any sizes. And here I use um plenty of foam adhesive just to make it a bit higher so that the pull tab does not get um, uh, disturbed. And I add a little glue just to have a little wiggle room when I put it on the card base. Because that would be a pity if it worked <laughs> so far. <laughs> and then wreck it by putting it on. So testing it again, it works. Very happy about that. And then also an envelope. I decided to make it all by myself. It would have worked with a little scoreboard, but here I measured it um, so that it fits in the middle and the top and the bottom flap over. Uh, turn it, give a little extra on the sides, make those two score lines down the sides. Then I need to cut off those lines. This will be when you open the envelope, this is the front you see. And this will be the lid that goes over. I like to make a curvy line there, make it a bit prettier. Then there I need to take a little off the corner so I can fold it nicely without having an overlap and do the same on the other side and you can make uh, envelopes any size like that then I like to round those corners there on the bottom now I need to score all those lines And then I use score tape to do the sides. I put the sides over the, the flap so I see how far up I can put My the score. My phone just ran out of battery. So I can see how far I can put the score tape, how high up. And then I take that off and I will stick down this front panel. It's not the address front, but I just call that the front panel. And the flaps I usually glue down with glue. I like glue a lot and it, it just makes a nice finish. This um, small score, score line, the one on the right, is not necessary, but it just looks nice when, when the flap is framed like that. And then I add a very thin score tape as the adhesive for the flap, because if it's too thick, then people cannot open those envelopes and people have complained to me about it. And now I test it. It is a bit bigger, funny size, and I put an etiquette on it, and ta-da, <laughs> it's finished. So I hope that was alright to watch. It was all sped up, because otherwise I don't get it um, shorter. 
and this will be the first video in my new playlist with just lawn fawn interactive and stamps even though i use german sentiments but lawn fawn does not have um, german sentiments so i started a few lists and um, i want to make clean card making videos for those lists so that was that so thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one